Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Assassin Spirit Evo from Thermalrite. I've got a noise test, I've got thermals, and we're gonna take a look what comes in the box and so make sure you continue to watch. Okay, so this is also the other one that came. This is the Assassin Spirit 120 Evo. As you can see, this one is the black version. I didn't specify if I wanted the RGB of this version. So unfortunately, it's non, it's the non-RGB version. So let's get this undone. So, okay. And here is all the bracketry you need for Intel and AMD. That one, and you've got the insulation, and you've got this thing. So, move that. Ooh! Oh, actually, oh wow, that looks really nice. Okay, the blacked out version looks really nice. Now, the fan does come pre installed, which is good. Now, of course, it's just got the copper heat pipe showing by there. But this looks really, ooh, I like that. That looks really nice. Now this has got one of their basic fans in them, so this might be loud, but I don't know. Let's actually check the specifications on the back of the box. So, let's have a look. So it's got a dB of 27 decibels, so this should actually be rather quiet. So, you know, it's, the, it's exactly like the Assassin. The Assassin Spirit It's exactly the same. But, of course, it's just blacked out with a new design. So let's get this one installed and see how it sounds, as well as give you some thermal testing on this with the 5900X. Okay, so this is the Assassin Spirit Evo, and this is at 50% fan speed. As you can hear, you can barely hear it. 100% fan speed. As you can hear, it does have a, a little bit of a whine, but it's not the loudest air cool I've ever heard in my life. So, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Okay, so when it comes to the thermal benchmarks, and I've done two different tests because this isn't this doesn't have a very high wattage tdp like the assassin spirit 120 evo this is more around the 200 watts maybe 150 to 200 watts so i've kept this the benchmark into my normal set of runs in a bench r23 blender classroom blender bmw and 3d mark cp test but i've done two different types of tests like i've done previously in the past out of the box settings with the 5900X and then one with PBO enabled. So 5900X out of the box, 140 watts. This is the, these are the results I had during testing. So for Cinebench R23, the idles are 31 Celsius with a max of 70. Blender Classroom, the idles are 31 with a max of 67. Idles on Blender BMW with 31 with a max of 65. And 3D Mark CP test, the idles are 31 Celsius with a max of 68 Celsius. Right then, so when it comes to the testing for 5900X plus PBO, the wattage did go up quite significant. It went up to 175 watts this time. But on Cinebench R23, the idles again with 31 Celsius. I'd done this, these tests straight after the others. And the max it hit on Cinebench R23 was an 81 Celsius. Blender Classroom, idles with 31 with a max of 79. Blender BMW, idles 31 with a max again of 79 Celsius. Then 3 Mark CPU test, the idles with 31 with a max of 70 Celsius. Okay then, so you've seen the initial unboxing. You've also heard the, the noise test and you've also heard and seen the overall thermographs. Now, what I will say is at this pr present moment of recording, this cooler is £17 on Amazon. It is stupid cheap. And considering that the 5900X that I've got here, I have had that over 200 watts with an AIO before. This did really, really well. And is it better than the Assassin King? 
yes, much better. Better than the Assassin King. Of course, it's got a very good um, bearing fan. The bearing in the fan is very good quality. Yeah, it doesn't have RGB, but that's just one of them things. I did ask for a black RGB version, but they sent me the blacked out version. So, yeah. I will say it does look rather striking, but of course, because I got RGB in everywhere, it doesn't look that nice. But the overall aesthetic is very nice. And of course, the aluminium on the top of the heat pipes does look very striking. Now, when it comes to the performance, it performed very well. And the price is £17, which, come on, for £17, quid, you cannot go wrong. This is a bargain at £17, and it performed that well. Now, yeah, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles like the Assassin Spirit Evo. It doesn't have all the big RGB, the best fans, and all this type of stuff. Yeah, it, does, it shows the actual copper heat pipes at the bottom because it doesn't have a base plate but it doesn't matter for 17 pound this performed fantastic and if you want to buy it the link for this will be down in the description and i'd like to say a big thank you to thermal right as always now i have got more stuff coming from them i have also got aios coming from them so any ones of the new ones you see i'll be getting them in very shortly and don't forget to subscribe for that but as always, I'd like to thank you all. Over a thousand subs now. Make sure you head over to welshitech.com and have a look because I've got a giveaway going right now. You have to comment, otherwise you will not be included. So, yeah. Look, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like. Please leave me a comment down below for suggestions when it comes to further content in the future. And this is Richard from Welsh Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Good. Bye.